Hi, how are you? I'm Michael Paris. Welcome to Tomb Trek. Tomb Trek. I'm a Stomp alumnus and keyboardist with the band OAR. And I believe that our history needs to be preserved, experienced, and celebrated. So while I'm on tour, I like to discover and explore lesser-known historic landmarks and tell their stories through an original song, photographs, and film. But it's not just about the places. It's also about the dedicated and passionate people that I meet along the way. It's good to be out on the highway. That's the place I'm strong. So today we're in Virginia Beach, and we are heading to the Old Coast Guard Station, which from what I understand has been saving lives in this area since 1901. Usually when you see a big inflatable slide, it means that you're close to a Coast Guard Station. And then I saw it. The building was built in 1903, and is the only one left of the five built in Virginia. It replaced the original U.S. Life Saving Service Station, built in 1878, which was the predecessor to the U.S. Coast Guard. I did their traditional shake with the bearded yellow fisherman, then met up with the local Dosset, Jim Phillips, who told me about shipwrecks and rescues. Two things that caused the shipwrecks were the bad storms we have along the coast and the fact that in the old days the ships didn't have all the modern navigational aids. So this is the way they would end up. They would run aground on the shoal. Along this stretch of the coastline, there are over 500 recorded shipwrecks. So because of all of the shipwrecks, in 1871, the government established the Life Saving Service. Now this was a regular government agency. These men were government employees. So then they started building these stations. There were a total of 285 of them. There were three ways of trying to save people from a shipwreck. The fastest and largest was the surf boat. The next was the four-person life car. Be good to get there to all the hardship. The life car now was operated a little differently. It was suspended on a line above the water. They would use these guns here. These were called line-throwing guns. They would fire that projectile with the line tied to it. Hmm. And that's how they got the line out to the ship. Just a little cannon. Yes, it was a little cannon, but it was a powerful cannon. Hmm. It had a range of 695 yards, which is like the seven football fields. It would take all hands, eight to ten surfmen, to wheel the 1,500-pound apparatus cart down to the beach, where they would fire the Lyle gun and hope that the line would land on the ship to then get attached to the mast. Then one at a time, they would close line in the survivors. We will live to fight another day. Couldn't you fly, sugar? Sometimes you fall. Try to keep on, keep on Into the great unknown Couldn't you run, honey? Sometimes you crawl, crawl Try to keep on, keep on To the great unknown The great unknown Church this is what Virginia Beach looked like back in the 1800s. Mm. This building there was built in 1903 to replace the old one, so we're over 100 years old. Wow. In 2003, we uh, had a big birthday party to celebrate our 100th anniversary. Ah, happy birthday. The Admiral came over from Portsmouth to give us a nice citation. <laughs> 